everybody, welcome back to Chris's Trains and Things. Today we're gonna to check out a new locomotive to the layout. It's sitting right here behind me. It's a rare, hard to find vision line model. It's the Gray Niagara from the 2018 Big Book. Let's check it out right here on Chris's Trains and Things. Now, as I said, this came out in the 2018 Big Book and with it were three other options from Lionel. They included a bunch of just prototypical black painted versions as well. The one of the unique features of these are the gigantic drive wheels and big side rods as well as the elephant ears on the front were smoke deflectors as they're actually called. This has lots of great features. We're going to talk about that today and we're going to run it around the layout with some heavyweight coaches and we'll see that as we go through this video today. But this was loaded with some new features from Lionel as we expect from Vision Line models. We're gonna talk about that today as well. So let's jump right in. Now, as I mentioned, I got this from trains.com. That's trains with a Z. Now, you can purchase things from trains.com. You can use code CTAT at checkout and save yourself some money. If you've already used that code in the past, it's always worth another shot. Maybe it'll work again. It might not, but it's always worth a shot. But you can also go to trains.com slash CTAT if you're gonna do any shopping there. And that actually helps support my channel as well, which allows us to continue to acquire some new models like this. So I appreciate all that support. So let's talk about the prototype a little bit. The The Niagara was built by Alco between 1945 and 1946 with a total number of 27 of these engines produced. You'll see this one has that long PT tender on the back with a bunch of pipes that stick out as well. Those are the water scoop pipes. And we're gonna talk about that in a little while. They can hold about 18,000 gallons of water which is pretty wild these things were massive with a four eight four wheel arrangement so we have four wheels up front we have eight drive wheels and we have or four wheels in the trailing truck as well when we talk about power these engines could travel 120 miles per hour which is fairly insane for something that weighs 891,000 pounds <laughs> Just think about that. Producing about 5,000 horsepower at 62 miles an hour, these things had a tractive effort of 61,000 pounds. So really absolute monsters that would travel those routes of the New York Central. One of the defining features of the Niagara is that there is no steam dome. If you look at this, it looks a little bit different than some of our other steam engines that we've looked at. So there's no steam dome. This dome here is a sand dome. So they would fill this with sand and then it would allow the sand to drop down in front of the drive wheels in case they're going up a grade. But because there's no steam dome, these were equipped with pop-off valves. So this engine, this Vision Line engine, features pop-off steam, which was relatively new for Lionel when this was released. So when the engine sits idle for some time as that boiler builds up pressure, those pop-off valves will release that pressure, and we have that as a smoke effect here on this model. Just... Now, one of the unique things that I found out while researching this is the reason why there are no steam domes, because those steam domes do kind of pop up and they limit your height clearance that you'd have. And because of the New York Central's tunnel systems and their height clearances, they could not have steam domes. So they had to equip these with these pop-off valves, which are recessed down into the, the boiler a little bit, so they weren't too high. You'll also know a very um, small stack here, so we're keeping a nice low streamlined look so we could avoid any clearance obstacles in the way of our routes. Another unique feature of these is that long PT tender in the back, and that allowed for all of the, a significant amount of coal. So when they would travel the 928 mile trip from New York to Chicago, they would only need to stop one time for coal, and that would happen just east of Rochester, New York, which left about a 600 mile push all the way to Chicago via the Cleveland Cleveland route. So that is pretty impressive. Now, stopping just for coal, what about water? Because one of the things we know is that these tenders aren't just holding coal, but they have a significant amount of water. In fact, you can see the rivet detailing on the side of this tender, which shows the slope inside, which would push that coal forward 
as it continues to deplete. Now, these engines had such that high horsepower of 5,000 that they would use about one ton of coal for every 15 miles traveled. So you can imagine just how much coal these things would have to hold to go 900 miles and really 600 miles on one load of coal. But what about water? These did not have to stop for water. The New York Central System had a series of what they called track pans. And essentially what a track pan is, is in between the rails, there was a area that was flooded with water. So the water would be all the way up almost to the tops of the rails. And we're not that high, but you get my point. So the engine would travel about 80 miles an hour over those track pans. And underneath the tender, there was a thing that they would drop down, a scoop. And it would scoop water from those track pans, which would go up and then into the tender itself. And what would happen is when you're doing that, you don't want to overflow the tender and cause damage to the water tank. So they have these tubes here and these are overflow tubes so as that track pan as that scoop is down and that it's pulling water up into the tender any water that's overflowing would just come out of these holes now this vision line model with this pt tender was the first to offer a smoke effect from those overflow pipes so there's actually a smoke unit inside the tender here that you fill up just up front here and as you're moving you can press the water fill button and what will happen is you'll hear a sound and you'll see smoke come out to simulate that overflow water when you're moving really fast it does provide a really cool unique look now this tender also has two speakers in it there's another speaker up here in the engine so we have a three speaker system in this vision line model which is another great feature which offers some great stereo sound <laughs> So that's enough of me yapping today. These were released in 2018. They are found on the secondhand market every once in a while. The gray one, not so much. There is one of these on eBay for well over MSRP. The MSRP on these was $18.99. Price, back in you can still find some online. In fact, this one, this model is on eBay right now. Someone's got it listed for over $3,000. It's a little much in my book for this, but to each their own. So you can probably find these somewhere. Uh, if you do enough digging, these will come up in, for sale every now and again, but I'm very blessed to have this in my collection. We're gonna run these with some MTH heavyweights, New York Central heavyweights today, just a small four, uh, four car consist here. Now the Niagara's themselves would be used for freight and passenger service. So you could really run this with whatever you need to. Perhaps I need to get some milk cars in my collection. But that's enough of me. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up, check out these features and run it around the lab.